Happy Sunday morning, y'all. There was your garden tour. It really hadn't changed, so I figured I'd try something a little different. Walk through, add a little music, but then I had to get on, you know, and talk to my friends. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we're working on. And then I still ain't planned those red rippers. Buddy's gotta put the T-post in and I can knock them out probably late, late this evening. I gotta water the bed in first, make sure it's moist. But I'm gonna turn the camera around and this is what I was telling y'all. Well, wait, I can't open this gate. Y'all hear him in the background? Oh, it does open. It looked like it wasn't gonna open. Okay, let me turn you around. Remember me telling y'all we were gonna do the ground cover? Well, we're running it all the way to the other side of these blackberries because there is a post there. Here's the other post and he's gonna be stringing the blackberries all the way down. And that's gonna make it so nice because now I can add two more rows of those buckets to extend the garden. Now, it won't be this summer. It's gonna be probably late fall because we gotta save to get the dirt. Here's the other end and it's gonna go down to the muscadines, right to the other side of the muscadines. And he's got this good and cut. And so from here all the way here and all the way down to that other post and that muscadine. We'll have ground cover, I can grow there. And then of course the muscadines are gonna have like a clothesline effect is how he's actually building them. We've had the stuff, y'all have seen the, the uh, landscape timber sitting. We just haven't got to that point, but we're getting there. So this is gonna also allow me two more rows of buckets. And I think that he said I can get 30 to this side and 14 here. And then eventually we're gonna take it around to the, oops, sorry. Eventually we're gonna take it around to the back side where it butts up to my little greenhouse. So yes, that is the plans and that's what he's working on. And next month we should have enough to finish purchasing our water system. Because guys, yesterday, Oh my word, seven hours, seven hours watering. I said, how many more months? He said, next month. He said, we'll be able to go and get the rest of it and get some water in here. And I just saw, I missed a zucchini. But I told y'all I had a surprise. Let me show you one of them. Y'all gonna know what it is. And then I gotta back up out this sun. Mm-hmm. Y'all look at this. And, you know, that's them pitiful banana peppers that I should have never put in this little box. And then here's another one. I've got one here on those little peppers. That's kind of spindly. So we're going to see. Okay, remember, starting from down there all the way, I seed started every one of these. Same seed packet, and this is the no heat jalapenos. Well, these are, for whatever reason, they're not like these. So what did I do? I did this. Y'all remember that little bitty cucumber I couldn't give away and it was about dead? Well, I put me a copper coal in it this morning. I miss one. I can miss a cucumber faster than anything you ever seen. All right, in this bed, I don't have anything planted. This is where we harvested the garlic, but it has enough shade for my tomato suckers. Remember, I was pulling them and I didn't mark them. And then I thought, oh, I need to, to start them over. Guys, look at them. 
Now, this is the only one that's marked, and that is a, I don't know what that is. That's a big beef back there. But look at them. So that's gonna give me my second round of tomatoes. And we're just gonna call it a mystery pack. But there's three, see, there's seven of them. So yeah, guys, your suckers can make you a secondary run. This feels so much better in the shade. I couldn't put y'all at that table. I'd die, it's, all, it's so hot out here already. But we're fixing to put the T-post and then that panel. See, what, we have two panels left uh, that he dug out and we re, kind of rearranged the wood so we could see what all we had left. Turns out we still have quite a bit, so God's good on that. But what'd you think of the copper coils? I think it was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. I get a package in the mail from Mr. Mickey and Miss Kathy with six of them gifted to me. Now, let me say, have I dived in and researched it? No. Um, and the reason being is, knock on wood, I've not, to me, had the need to change what I'm doing. But when I received them, I sat back and I said, you know what, I do have some weak plants, you know, uh, could have been started at poor germination, just wasn't a good viable seed in those packs or some of my seeds saved. You know, there's various reasons why plants do what they do. Lack of nourishment, don't understand, they all get fed the same, maybe they need more. So, you know, there's a million questions. But I said, you know what, why don't I just try these coals in the plants that are not doing as 98% of mine are doing, as well as mine are doing. So, and I put them on the south side, the short stick in, tall stick up, as instructed, it came with a, it was packaged amazing. Came with great instructions. And you know, we're gonna see together. I'm not gonna change how I fertilize, when I fertilize, any of that, but we're gonna see if this makes a difference because they are struggling, you, you see them. So I think, you know, it's gonna be a good test in tune to see, um, but for you guys to ask me, do I have knowledge of this? That would be zero. The only knowledge I have is what Mr. Mickey says, Mr. Danny over at Deep South Homestead and a few others that's tried it. I, again, didn't dive into it because I didn't feel I had a problem right now. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna have a problem in the fall or next spring, but this garden this year has done very well to be such a new established garden. Um, and it, it is a new established garden. Y'all know who's been following us. We're not here 18 months. So yeah, things are happening and, and they're positive. Um, real quick, I've got to insert this morning's harvest and I'll be right back. I forgot to put that at the beginning. So I'm fixing to insert and then I got to come back and tell you what I did with it all. Y'all, my hand got tired. I got you propped up on my little, it barely makes noise. My little rooster wind chime is just a decoration, but at least it props my hands up. But what'd y'all think of this morning's harvest? Well, the cucumbers are sliced, soaking in ice, getting ready to make bread and butter. We did nine pints of dill two days ago. Yeah, two, two days ago. Now we're gonna do bread and butter. The next batch will go into relishes, dill and sweet. So yeah, I think I'll yield another nine pints out of this batch. I've already got my squash and zucchini cut up and they are flash freezing. That's what I chose to do with those. Uh, instead of freeze drying, I'm gonna go ahead and flash freeze. The next batch I will freeze dry and I'll do a comparison because I didn't have that many. You know, I didn't do a whole lot because I wanted to see if it was something we liked. So we did end up cooking them all and it was a hit, but I had nothing to compare it to except fresh. 
Now I wanna compare freeze-dried to how I've always stored my zucchini and my squash for fall and winter use. Uh, we made cowboy candy. I got two half pints out of that little handful. That was a blessing, so that was easy peasy. One bell pepper, that's went in the crisper because I will be using it. We also seed saved from the jalapenos and the Tabascos. Um, I'm trying to think, what else did we do? Well, the radishes will be with supper tonight. What else was on that plate? Oh, the handful of green beans. I didn't have enough to add these to make a batch, so we're gonna eat those fresh tonight for supper. It'll just give us all a little handful. It's just three of us. So yeah, that was this morning's harvest. I had about the same yesterday. So things are averaging daily, that amount. Um, oh, I need to show y'all my watermelon. That requires me going in the sun, but y'all are worth it. I got to show you my watermelon. Now y'all know I was about oh, a month behind to five weeks, but remember we had to wait and get some dirt. So they're doing good. And y'all remember my cantaloupes that turned out to be cucumbers? We didn't know what to do with them, to be honest. They're kind of, hmm, remember they were going this away? So we put this up and we're just letting them kind of do whatever it is that they feel like they want to do. This was not in the plans, guys. This was not <laughs> what I thought I had planted. But it gets them up and going. I will clean this out because it's, it's too compact. It can't breathe. So I will be cutting all of this stuff out. I'm not gonna leave that stem, I will cut it. Let me show y'all. Find the end, pull it out, and I'm gonna get some air flowing in there. I just haven't made my way around it. But yeah, that's what we decided to do. He's just got it braced temporary, like a preacher board, and yeah. That's gonna house these cucumbers we didn't intend on planting. Y'all know this make a good picture. You know, like tuck it. I kind of look Hawaiian, don't I? Uh-huh, with gray hair. I need one of them little flower things. Look at that. That ain't so bad, I could sport that. <laughs> yeah, how does Mr. Buddy live with me? I don't know but he's managing. But tomorrow, Memorial Day. Um, yeah, it's a very special day. A lot of men and women gave their lives up for our freedom and tomorrow will not go unnoticed. It's gonna go with appreciation. It's gonna go in mine and buddy's book as we're gonna get up and we're gonna relish and the freedom of our labor in this garden. And tomorrow will also be, um, what would you, I wouldn't say page two, but video two in the new playlist. And we're gonna talk about squash, zucchini, and cucumber. There again, I'm keeping it simple. And y'all's response, I appreciate it. I wasn't sure how yesterday's video was gonna turn out. Y'all have been wanting to do this for quite a few months but I kept restraining and restraining because I didn't want to come across as I'm right, someone else is wrong. As I said, nobody's wrong. We just all garden different. I tend to garden simple and simple works for us. Um, not a lot of fuss, just a lot of care and a lot of appreciation and a lot of prayer. And that is our fuel to our gardens. So yeah, I'm out here every morning Sometimes in the afternoon, but every night as well. But we need to pause in silence and look around us. This is freedom because of them. Me standing here putting a leaf to my ear, that's freedom. So, as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. And I'll see you on the next one.